Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. Not know if you've ever seen one of these here, but that was what happened the first time I tried to deliver the bomb in Plankerton power level 28 with my constructor. I was a bit high after doing the air quotes quest. I was pretty sure that I could just go in here and do it, and I failed. So that was a bit of a shame. But, I mean, there is no shame in failing as long as you get back up on track and you start crushing it. And what I did was to grab an Outlander, go in, complete some missions, farm more resources so that I could just crush through the mission the next time. I did a little more than just an Outlander mission, I did quite a few of them and that was because I had three daily missions that I wanted to complete. One being defeat 50, uh, 500 opponents as an Outlander, so that was a thing. <laughs> And I had fragments of plenty, I had different Outlander related missions that I wanted to get completed. So while I was down, so to say, on resources, on everything for traps and weapons, I decided to just go a little bit crazy farm, casual, good time style in Fortnite, enjoy the game, play the missions that I really liked to complete this, take out husks with an Outlander mission while preparing for winning the deliver the bomb mission because of course it wasn't going to be stopping me that i had that type of a thing in the game here i completed take out husk with any hero but i also actually had one for an outlander so i had to take out a huge amount of husks and yeah i kind of just did that while farming my favorite radar <laughs> grid missions and i mean i had now I knew I could do also the storm chest, so I got a lot of farming done and I got a lot of evolution materials, I got a lot of experience points, I rescued survivors, I did so many things, raking in, preparing for, going in there to crush the deliver the bomb mission again. And yeah, this was overdoing it, but I kind of decided that I wanted to clear out my daily missions while I was like on a non-progression streak anyway, so I just went all in and cleared the board. With the Husk Extermination Outlander completed here as well, getting these daily coins that are really cool. The next day, day 12 of logging in, I got myself one of these, an Epic Survivor, so that's always cool. I placed some of my skill points, I used my research to move towards unlocking the next Survivor. I got some more resistance for survivability, got some offense stats, just moving towards being able to evolve my heroes, another Survivor unlocked, so putting that in there so... Like just raking up my power so that I would be able to push through the deliver the bomb mission even easier. I wasn't worried for going in the second time around. I had been stashing up on resources like crazy. You can like win almost any trap, any mission by going trap crazy. But this here is deliver the bomb, locating the launcher, deploying it, locating the rift, meaning go towards this crazy vortex within the timer for the mission objective rewards. I found blue glow siphons that I just activated and ran away because when they die they give you two blue glow so you don't need to actually defend them if you don't want to. So I just did that, went to find the armory, deployed that as well, picked up my blue glow, put it in there, you need a total of full blue glow. And then you get these tracks that you can craft that you need to connect the armory with the launcher so you need to build a path from one to the other, go back to the armory deploy the bomb just by holding E in on it and then you're going to be attacked or rather the bomb is going to be attacked as it moves from one structure to the other. So as it moves from A to B it will be attacked and you need to defend it the entire time. It is normally not that challenging and it wasn't really much of a problem here as well and it can take damage you just like it can't die. I made a base I went all in with all the crazy traps I had picked up. I made a kill area with my gas ceiling traps where I had the massive spawn over here. It was taking out pretty much everything that came from there. So that was super, super easy. On the other side of my base, I had a cliffside. So what I had there was all my launchers just pushing things away, making it a, like crazy easy breeze to actually complete the mission the second time around. But I went a little all in on traps because I didn't want this to be like a progressional stop for me. And I had been farming like crazy to get to this point. So that was pretty much what I had to share in regards to completing the deliver the bomb. This is how I did it after failing. <laughs> yeah. Rifty business, it's a done deal, loads of survivor experience points and another survivor, so even more home base power in that. Unlocking some stuff with my newly acquired skill points, and yeah, that's pretty much what I had to share in this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, as always, thank you very much and very much for watching. 